Fallout 76 is a massive game with many hidden items and secrets that players can spend thousands of hours in game and still not find. So in today's video, we are going over five things you may have missed in Fallout 76. Starting off our video, we have the Pip-Boy 2000 Mach 7 paint. For this unique Pip-Boy paint, what you're first going to need to do is progress the Wastelanders questline. While doing this, I also recommend you playing as a double agent all the way through the entire questline, and that way you'll be able to obtain all the unique rewards these questlines have to offer. At a certain point in the game though, while helping out the Settlers faction, a quest will pop up named Trade C. Secrets. In this quest, Paige, the leader of Foundation, requires a massive drill to bypass Robco's defense grid entirely by drilling straight into Vault 79 itself. The problem with this, though, is Foundation does not have any kind of heavy construction to be able to pull this off. In order to find a solution, the Dweller is asked to seek out the remains of Hornwright Industrial and find a way to provide the settlers with the means to carry out this heist. If the players decide to help out the Raiders and completely skip this quest, they will miss out on their only opportunity to get this Pip-Boy paint. For the next item on the list, we have one of the best weapons in all of Vault 76, the Slug Buster. To be able to to obtain this beast of a weapon, you are first going to need to progress far enough through the Wastelanders questline again, but this time you are going to be helping out the Raiders. After completing the mission from Russia with Leave, players will come back to Crater where Meg, the leader of the Raiders, will give you the quest Buried with Treasure. During this questline, players will need to head to Vault 79 to start their heist with the Raiders faction. Now there are many steps in this quest, but towards the end players can spot the Slugbuster if lucky in a locked room. This room itself can be unlocked by Raw Raw, that way you'll be able to obtain the Slugbuster for yourself. This weapon is a unique plasma gun which has a legendary effect anti-armor which is ignored 50% of your target's armor, has the VATS critical hits due plus 50% of damage, and it also has a 90% deduced weight. Now, the cool thing about this weapon is it also has a hidden effect which is Raw Raw's Plasma Rifle, which adds 20% to less VATS action points cost to the gun. If this gun is missed, players will sadly not be able to get it again because it is not tradable whatsoever. The next item on our list, we have the Free Radicals Mask. This unique piece of headgear is one of the first rare items players can actually miss in Appalachia. The way you obtain this mask is by completing the Wayward Quest while also supporting the Free Radicals. At the very end, you will be rewarded the Free Radicals mask. The mask itself is a full face mask made of scrap metal that leaves the eye slots and breathing slots open. The top of the mask has been welded into spikes, while the forehead, cheeks, and brow are all covered by a row of rivets. But by far the coolest thing about this mask is that it can actually be traded if players miss it, so be on the lookout. The next item on my list that you might have missed in Fallout 76 is the Cave Diving Suit. To obtain this unique armor, you're first going to want to progress the Brotherhood quest lines until you're on the quest Supply and Demands. During this quest, you'll be led to the Kirwood Mine, where a settler Mike can be found. After talking to Mike, players will be directed further into the mine where they will stumble across a crate that has the diving suit itself. If the players miss this and complete the quest, they will no longer be able to obtain the item sadly due to it disappearing and not being tradable. Next up on our list, we have the free plan for the Chinese stealth suit and the Chinese helmet. During the settler's faction questline, players will come across the quest Invisible Ties. During this quest, Paige moves on with the next problem on the list, defeating the laser grids protecting the gold. Paige will direct the dweller to Jin, one of the youngest members of Foundation, who has come forward and volunteered to help solve the problem of penetrating the laser grid in Vault 79. At the end of this quest, the player will be rewarded both the plans for the Chinese Stealth Suit and the Chinese Stealth Suit Helmet. If the player decides not to do this mission whatsoever, they can purchase the plans for gold after completing the Wastelanders quest from Samuel. The armor is 4,000 gold bullion, and the helmet itself is 1,650 gold bullion. I also made a video over one of the most unique heavy guns in all of Vault 76, the Cryolator, so if you want to check that video out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Cryolator video.